Okay, amazing biology students. Uh, this video is going to be over the digestive system of the rat dissection. So we're gonna go ahead and jump in and start up here at the top. Um, first part is the oral cavity right here. Okay, the oral cavity is the first part of the alimentary canal. That's where um, digestion is going to begin mechanically of all biomolecules. That means carbohydrates, lipids, and proteins through the action of chewing. Okay, so with chewing, you have the teeth that are, in, that are involved. These are incisors. Rats have really big incisors uh, used for gnawing. Um, they also have muscles that you see in the cheek area. Okay, this muscle over here and here, they have two of them. These are called masseter muscles. Okay, between them, this is called digastragus. So the masseter muscles and the digastragus both work with what's called mastication. Mastication is the word for, it's Latin for chewing. And so the digastragus muscle right here in the middle is going to work to pull the mandible, the lower jaw, pull it down. The two masseters on the side are gonna work to pull the mandible up. And so it's a, pulled down by the digastragus, pull the mandible down, and the masseters pull it up. And so that gets you the chewing action um, used in mastication, which is the process of chewing for um, digestion. So oral cavity, okay, what happens in the oral cavity is we have mechanical breakdown of carbs, lipids, and proteins through mastication and those muscles I showed you, as well as the chemical breakdown of starch. And the way that happens, I'm gonna point to the next structure, these large glands here and here, these are called salivary glands. Now rats really have three pair, but you only have to know um, the large ones. We're gonna pin these on the practical. Okay, so we may put a pin in here or a pin in here. Those salivary glands secrete an enzyme called amylase. Amylase is used for the chemical breakdown of starch. And if you remember correctly from biochemistry, starch is a polysaccharide. And so it's gonna work on breaking those polysaccharides down into some disaccharides to try to get them into that monomer form. So all that's happening in the oral cavity. So salivary glands secrete their product amylase into the oral cavity for the chemical breakdown of starch. Okay, once chewing is done, we now have a chewed up wad of food known as a bolus. At that point, swallowing will occur and the bolus is gonna move down the esophagus. Now I'm gonna open up the rat here. This is not the esophagus in this section. This is the trachea, but behind it, the tube is to the dorsal side. That means behind it, but that's not where I like to pin it for the practical. I actually like to pin the esophagus down here where it comes into the stomach. So if you lift up the liver, okay, like this, you can see this giant structure right here is the stomach. There's the esophagus coming in. So I like to pin it like this. I'll lift it up, put a pin in it. That tube is muscular. The action of the, the muscles is known as peristalsis. Okay, it's smooth muscle contractions that will move the bolus down until they dump into the giant stomach. Okay, all right, next the stomach. Um, the stomach's job is to mechanically, once again, break everything down just like chewing does. And it's through the action of a churning. The muscle's gonna squeeze its smooth muscles, break down carbs, lipids, and proteins. Chemically, however, it's gonna only act on protein. There is a special enzyme inside the stomach called pepsin that will break down proteins um, into kind of like dipeptides and smaller polypeptides. It starts to work on those. Okay, at that point, we call the chemical contents inside the stomach, it's known as chyme. So it changes, changes from a solid wad of food as it moves down the esophagus into chyme because now it has those gastric juices and there's also some hydrochloric acid, et cetera, that, that works on that. All right, next, the food is gonna proceed to the next part of the alimentary canal called the duodenum. It's right here. It's the first part of the small intestine coming off the stomach. Okay, so look, it goes stomach here and then there's duodenum. Okay, so I'll put the pin right in here duodenum. Now there's a lot that happens in the duodenum. Okay, the first kind of buzzword that we like to use is we say most enzymatic hydrolysis occurs here. And that just means a lot of chemical breakdown, enzymatic. Enzymatic, and remember hydrolysis is using water to break things down into smaller form. Okay, so for that to happen, we've got a lot of things coming in. So the first thing, chyme slowly comes into the duodenum. The very first action we need is from Mr. Pancreas. So I'm gonna lift up, pancreas is an accessory structure. If I lift up the stomach, okay, I want y'all to look closely. This bumpy brown stuff right in here that almost looks like kind of a tissue, 
because the pancreas is epithelial tissue like skin, all of that is the pancreas. So it will secrete, and if you look at where its proximity is, here's the duodenum right here, it will secrete something called sodium, it's spelled N-A plus, that's the short way to write it in chemistry, sodium bicarbonate, and it will secrete into the duodenum, and the first thing it will do is neutralize that acidic chyme. See, the chyme is very acidic in the stomach. It has a pH of two because there's a lot of hydrochloric acid in there. That helps the pepsin do its job. So once the chyme comes in, we have to neutralize it. So the pancreas right here secretes sodium bicarbonate into that section and neutralizes that chyme. It brings it from about a two up to more of about a 6.7 to seven, which is neutral. Okay, once that happens, then we need the next accessory organ. I'm gonna pull this down so you can see this giant thing right here is called the liver. Okay, all of this, these are different lobes to the liver. So the liver's job is to secrete bile. Now in humans, we store this in the gallbladder and it would be located underneath the liver, but rats do not have gallbladders. Okay, they don't really have a high fat diet, so there's no need for that. Okay, so they're gonna directly release bile Okay, through some ducts, you can kind of see them go in here, underneath, right into the duodenum. And what that bile is going to do is mechanically, notice I emphasize that, mechanically break down large fat globules into smaller fat droplets. It's like taking a big glob of fat and breaking it with a hammer into smaller pieces. That is not chemical, even though bile is a liquid, it's an emulsifier, it is not an enzyme, okay? So after that, the third and final thing, notice we're still in the duodenum, y'all. The third and final thing is the pancreas right here releases its last secretion. We call that digestive enzymes. There are three of them. You don't have to know these right now, but they're called amylase, lipase, and trypsin. Think of those names, amylase. We also said that was found in the oral cavity from the salivary glands. So amylase is gonna complete the chemical breakdown of starch. Lipase is gonna start and finish the chemical breakdown of lipids. And the final one is called trypsin, which kind of sounds like pepsin that was in the stomach, and it will completely break all proteins down. So at that point, y'all, in the duodenum, everything, all carbs, all lipids, and all proteins are completely broken down to the smallest form that they can get. And we call those monomers, even though lipids truly don't have monomers, they're broken down into glycerols and fatty acids. So all we have left to do to complete the process, okay, we're almost there, hang on, is we need to absorb the good stuff and poop the other stuff. So from the duodenum right here, we're gonna move slowly and go into the rest of this. Now, I'm not gonna have you guys identify the difference between the jejunum and ileum, but all of this is known as jejunum and ileum. And if you look closely, you can see there are lots of blood vessels that come in. And those come in and they form little finger-like projections called villi and microvilli. The difference between the jejunum and ileum, jejunum will absorb all the monomer nutrients. Okay, the ileum is gonna absorb all the water and some of your electrolytes, etc. So after that, we reach this giant sac right here. Look at this monster. That is the first part of the large intestine. It has a name called the cecum. Okay, and you can see right here, that's the ileum joining into the cecum, okay? At this point in the cecum, the only thing you have is water and indigestible material, AKA feces. It's cellulose, y'all. It comes from the stuff that we can't break down, which is plant cell walls, it's cellulose. So the cecum is gonna further absorb water, but it will mostly just store the indigestible material until we're ready to get it out of the body and eliminate it. So if I turn the cecum over, Okay, we're gonna continue with more large intestine. You can't really tell what's what until you get over here. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys right here. This last section right here going out, that's called the rectum. And normally there would be like a wad of feces that you would see. This one doesn't have any at this last section called the rectum, but some of the rats, you'll be able to see like a big fecal matter ball right there. Um, so anyway, that's rectum. And then that leads out to the anus. This is a male. So his anus is back here by the tail right there. Female would be the same place, but she has more openings than the male does. Okay, so one more time all the way through. We go oral cavity. 
we come down salivary glands right here and here we go esophagus is by the stomach it's going to be right there there's your esophagus then it goes stomach then to duodenum first section right here then it goes jejunum and ileum here and here and then we hit the cecum first part of the large intestine the cecum proceeds and eventually comes out there's your rectum and the anus is the opening the accessory organs we've got liver right here we've got the pancreas right here all this bumpy stuff that's the pancreas okay and there you go there's the digestive system hope you enjoyed